So when you go to the vet, in order to negotiate the down price, because they, they try to use the look for your dog against you, right? So the way to negotiate them down is you just need to act like you don't give a shit about your dog. <laughs> so when they come out and they're just like, uh, sir, that'll be $1,500 for his treatment, you could just be like, you know what, you can just put him down. <laughs> and then you're going to have to double down because it's not free to put your dog down, right? That's, they're going to be like, oh, well, if you want to put your dog down, it's going to be two grand. And that's when you have to be like, oh, no, you don't have to use, like, medicine. Just, like, strangle him or something, you know? <laughs> just, just drown him. Fill him pillowcase full of bars of soap and beat the shit out of her or something, I don't know. It's free to do. It's not scenario. funny. It's not funny. What's that? I'm sorry, you're, you're upsetting me. It's not fucking funny. You can leave. Go home. Kill us right dogs. there, mate. Yeah, you're having a good time, I go home. I fucking will. Dad. It's a combat show, bro. It's not funny. <laughs> Is that a bit? Is that, is he doing a bit? <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> oh my god, we, we got that on camera, right? <laughs> that guy has murdered a dog. There is no, no doubt that guy has murdered a fucking dog. <laughs> a few moments later. But for myself, that's like my biggest issue. Like, uh, the, the, oh, you're back, alright. Please don't for, do any dead. He's on. He's on. No dead cats. I got 40 minutes on dead dogs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you left, I'm like, fuck yeah, I can do it all. <laughs> I got a bit about burning every Petco down in the world. <laughs> I got bits about throwing glass shards and dog food for fun. <laughs> Everything, I love dogs too. I'm on your side, man. But you know, even like, it's it was just a joke, man. Do you have a dog right now? No, I don't even have a dog. Oh, you don't have a dog? <laughs> I love a dog. Wow, that's a you got a lot of balls for someone with no dogs speaking up for dogs. You know? I love them, but I don't want to own them. You know? You're like, I'm like a dog brand. You're like these like white guilt people that try to help black people out. You know, you're like, like hey, God damn it, you don't talk about them. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't want any black neighbors though. I don't want any black neighbors. As long as they're not in my house, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Dude, I thought you had like ten dogs. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> No, my, my, my estranged wife is a pet sitter, so I, I love all her dogs. <laughs> all her dogs. <laughs> he's, he's laughing at you, not with you. Dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's the truth. I believe you, I believe you, I believe you. I believe you that she's estranged, I believe you. I, believe you. <laughs> I totally believe you on that. <laughs> Listen, I don't feel good making fun of you, but I have to say so. You walk back in, everyone's like, what the fuck is he doing back here? I gotta call you out, dude. I brought my guns. What's that? I brought my guns. You brought some keys rocks? Yeah, I went in the car, I got my guns. You did? Yeah, no. no. That's a joke. That's a joke. See, that's, uh, see, everyone's freaked out. <laughs> What's that? Bat you down? I don't want to give you a boner, sir. I'm all right. I'll keep my hands where they are. All right, all right. Real, we're just, yeah, I had to say something. You came back, dude. I couldn't just go on after that. That was so outrageous. <laughs>